Okay, you might be wondering why you are staring at a box. It says cross moment, 177 Cal, 495 feet per second. And it's red and says air rifle. That's because I got a fan. Now this is the this isn't the 22 cal version, and uh, I was gonna get the 22 cal version, but this is all I had. And this isn't the uh, the five or the thousand x or thousand. Mostly because 495 is just under the legal limit for not having a firearms license or a possession and acquisition license. So um, yeah, I uh, I got this just because I didn't want to wait for my grandpa to get uh, possession and acquisition. So anyway. You open the box up, and here's how it comes. By the way, this is a few days old, so there might be a couple of nicks and stuff. The trigger, trigger guard isn't here, but uh, it's in the living room, or the basement there. I'm in the garage right now, but yeah. So anyway, here's how it comes out. Flip this around here, put it in my homemade rifle stand. By the way, a lot of things you're going to see that I use are a lot. Most of them are homemade. So yeah, here's the gun. What else comes with it is... Uh, your instructions. Put that there. Chuck the box down over there. All right. Let's look at the. Uh, so you can look at my rifle stand. Yes, that was the shot. I, mean, I shot that just for no reason. So when you open the instructions up, you get a beautiful little designer baggie. You get your instructions. A, uh, a little card of how to cock it. Kind of simple. A, B. It's a little bit of a waste of paper. And your uh, trigger guard. Or your not trigger guard, I shouldn't say, uh, cross block. This is just uh, how to put it on. And, yeah. and here it is. Warning, this device is a tamper resistant irritant. Not a lock. This cross block is a substitute for storing the air gun in a secure locking room. Locking uh, inaccessible to others. Do not leave this air gun unattended. Store key in a separate location. Inaccessible to others. Always check your cross block for a proper fit. Always keep your cross block in, a, in place when storing this air gun. Do not leave any key. Leave key in cross block during so may damage the cross block. This cross block is used on this air gun only. Oh, I should put it on the other one. Uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Here we go. So, yeah, there's that. And we're going to look at the instructions right now. Okay, so quickly, I only have like four minutes. So yeah, owner's manual, you go down. It's basically the same cross over owner's manual. They're all the same. So you go down, blah, 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 blah. It shows how to cock it. Put a piece of paper in there and it shows it how to do it in the manual. God, people are stupid. So anyway, uh, here's the specifications. Uh, you can't really see it, but mechanism slash action spring. Uh, caliber slash ammunition 177 cal 4.5 millimeter lead air gun pellet barrel rifled steel sights fiber front fiber optic rear fully adjustable for windage and elevation length 41.5 inches 105.41 centimeters uh, velocity up to 495 feet per second 151 meters per second weight 5.5 pounds so that's that so anyway move that to right here we get under the gun itself this out of the box, I shot this. Now, this is just a cutoff of one of my big slabs of targets. Uh, yeah, that was from this far away. If you look in the gun, that far away. That's two shots up right here and one shot in the bullseye. That was with these sights. Now, I'm not a big fan of these sights, but they're there anyway. They're uh, those true glow things. I'm going to zoom in there. Basically, yeah, that's what they sort of look like. Zoom back out. No, there's one there. So yeah, that was with the sights from all the way down there. That's kind of a hard shot to do that. That was a lucky shot. That and that that's not even out in the uh, the nine ring either. That's like straight through the middle. So anyway, the uh, the gun comes with the full fully uh, I don't know fully length rail. Uh, it comes with this cutaway, and I don't know why people do this on their guns. It's just, it's kind of weird. I, I mean, my cheek doesn't go there, it goes here. So yeah. And uh, it has a, um, uh, a rubber recoil pad. This, is, this does recoil if you're not used to a, uh, a break barrel gun. This has a lot of recoil. That little guy I thought had recoil, this guy had a lot more. That little guy feels like a miniature now because of this. So anyway, it, uh, it also has an adjustable trigger, and there's the safety, just that little lever there. You push it forward. And, uh, so yeah, it has an adjustable trigger. Uh, little bumps in the stock, kind of like those. 
sorta. Uh, the sights, I'm trying to go through this fast, I only have like a minute. The sights, they uh, turn like this, if I can turn it. Basically like that. I don't really care if I mess them up, I have a scope anyway. Basically like that. So yeah, there's that, I'm gonna do a shooting thing now. Alright, I'm gonna do some uh, shooting now, I'm gonna be doing some shooting at this uh, target right here. So yeah, here we go. By the way, I'm using a scope on this. I'm using a Tasco RF3. I'm do five shots, or no, three shots, better be five shots in the most time. Alright. Let's see if my shots are accurate and my sound is inside. There's my grouping from 10 feet, and this is my review from Little Ham 108 or 9.